You might want to be careful today over trading as the NASDAQ market is pretty much trading sideways since it's open. What's going on team? It's Ricky with Tech Solutions. I just wrapped up my live trading session with the LPP team and it's time to break down the four things to prepare for for this upcoming week. Let's go ahead and start sharing my screen. I really hope that you learned something new and if you do, please consider dropping a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because we will be live streaming Jerome Powell speaking this week, which again does tend to affect the market. That's one of the first things that I want to talk about. Overall, NASDAQ market has a few things on its schedule this week, but the biggest two that I'm paying attention to is that Jerome Powell, 15 minutes before the market opens on Wednesday, is going to be uh, having a live speech. This can be Wednesday, November 8th. Also, on Thursday, this is November 9th, Jerome Powell at 2 p.m. Eastern Time is going to also be speaking during a discussion. Make sure that you're aware of that. But again, today we do have Governor Lisa D. Cook that's going to be speaking at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, which should be relatively pretty soon. I don't see that to affect the market too, too much. But Vice Chair tomorrow at 9.15 a.m., which is, again, 15 minutes after the market opens, we do have the Vice Chair of the Federal Reserve that's going to be speaking. So please make sure that you are aware of that. When it comes down to economic reports, nothing too significant significant this week. We do have the treasury budget at 2 p.m. Eastern time on Friday, but other than that, a pretty slow and steady week based off of what is actually on the schedule this week, right? Uh, overall expectation from the Fed rate monitor tool. Uh, this again is far from and you know we're not even close to the next FOMC meeting, but right now there's a 90 to 10 probability, 10% that the Federal Reserve will raise 90% that the Federal Reserve will pause. Now, what's to come this week? Well, I've closed out my trade. As you can see here, I left myself with my one lucky share. I took a small trade during today's live trading session with the LPP team. Again, uh, just a friendly reminder, I trade live every single morning. If you want to watch me trade live as soon as tomorrow, that's the second link in the description down below. But one of the things that we began to see is that first off, the NASDAQ market and S&P 500 is coming off of one of the strongest weeks for 2023. So it was expected that maybe the market would pull back or would it continue to rally? Right now we're trading sideways, so it's still uncertain. So asking the question, well, what do we do during uncertain times, right? Well, we play it safe, right? Instead of trying to predict and possibly being wrong, why not wait to react, right? A very simple process uh, or habit to build that can be very, very beneficial, right? So as of right now, the market did pull back a little bit, but we were testing the moving average on the five minute time frame. It was very easy to see that. So when we pulled on back, I began again, taking small positions on TQQQ, very, very small, right? Once it began to indicate signs of an uptrend, I added a little bit more. It ran up to previous highs. I did not hesitate. I called out um, and locked in profits on TQQQ and walked away with $1,100. Market right now is again, trading sideways. It's very choppy. I want to ask yourself, how many times do you over trade? How many times do you trade, waste the day trade, and then regret it because nothing actually happened? As of right now, the picture that the market is painting for the day is stagnant. It's it's pretty much a break even day from where we open to where we are at right now. It's not showing any signs of continuous progress. And this is a question I always ask our beginner traders that are part of LPP. Is the trade that you are about to take showing signs of progress? Are you missing out by not being invested in that trade? As of right now, there might be small moves throughout the day, but there's nothing significant, right? We're not seeing steady and consistent progress on the upside or the downside, right? So it doesn't make too much sense to go long or to go short. Of course, you can try to be aggressive and try to make the most of it. But if you're under the PDT rule, if you're trying to be more selective, if you're trying to build healthy habits, then I think the really important part is also knowing when to open a trade and knowing when to stay cash. And to me, when it's trading sideways like this, I see no reason for me to try to force something that isn't actually happening, right? And one of the other things that I quickly want to talk about is we do have a few other companies that are going to be reporting earnings, and that shouldn't be much of a surprise that the, it could affect the market. Now, big tech has pretty much reported, you know, Apple, Google, Microsoft, Tesla, Amazon, all of those companies have already reported earnings. The big Fed meetings have already happened. So now it's really just giving the market the time that it needs to identify what's going to happen. If we take a step back and look at QQQ, we can quickly see, right, that we are coming off a very strong week, right? But if you look at the four hour time frame, you can see that we've been seeing this descending resistance. So we rally and then we sell off right? We rally and then we sell off. We rally and then we sell off. Is this going to continue that same pattern or are we going to break that pattern and continue to rally? We don't know right now, right? That's why we are giving the market the time that it needs to identify its direction. If it begins to show signs of progress on the upside, then we can choose to go long. If it begins to get rejected and show signs of progress on the downside, then we can go short. But 
We need to give the market the time that it needs to identify its direction on these larger time frames so we don't make impulsive decisions that we later end up regretting. And the last thing that I want to share with you very quickly on this Monday is in preparation for the week that might influence overall markets or market sentiment is that former President Trump um, is going to be in court in New York, if I'm not mistaken, for one of his trials. It's going to be very interesting to see that based off of what is shared from those trials, how it can influence the overall market. I just wanted to make sure that I shared with you everything it is that I know that is in prep for our uh, on schedule for this week. I also do want to remind you that on Friday, it is Veterans Day and in observance to Veterans Day, it might be a little bit of a slower day. So other than that, I'm going to take it very easy today. Uh, as long as the market continues to trade sideways, I have no intention of over trading or opening any more positions. But if the market does begin to show signs of progress on the upside or begins to show progress on the downside, I wouldn't mind taking a long or short position as long as the opportunity presents itself, right? Why get ahead of yourself and try to predict when you can simply wait to prepare? Again, a very simple message to live by. I hope that earned a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. And again, if you want to watch me trade live as soon as tomorrow, that's the second link in the description down below. And yes, it is a one-time payment, lifetime access. It's designed for complete beginners. And I'll see you tomorrow at Market Open for our live session. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take care, team.